Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Noel. Um, Alex has asked me to um, help out by sharing a little bit about my devotion with his vlog. Uh, I just want to first off saying uh, thank you to Alex um, for starting this. You know, it's a great inspiration for a lot of us and uh, if you do find it inspirational and if you find it useful for you in your devotion with God, um, I'd suggest you sharing it with friends um, and letting people know about uh, the vlog that Alex has started and the vision that he has behind it to try and help other people connect together um, During their time with God. I'm just gonna take a few moments and just uh, talk about something that's on my heart um, Last night we had a youth night for our church at Bridge Community Church and we spoke about the topic of identity um, and identity is such a important topic especially when we're starting off this new year um, it's important for us to understand who we really are and a lot of times at the end of every year and the beginning of a new year you see a lot of people try and talk about identity they try and talk about the things that they want to change from their old me and create a new me to try and fit some sort of image um, that they have in their mind where does this image come from uh, what makes us think that we need to change certain parts of our lives uh, to create a better version of who we are to maybe please people that are around us, please people in our social groups, please people um, in the people that we just meet daily. Uh, who, who are we trying to please really is what the question really becomes to. And when, I, when we were thinking about it for our youth group, and a lot of them are in the age group between high school um, and maybe some even thinking about going into college, and it's important for them to understand who they are. And in that age group, especially in high school, when I was growing, in, growing up and going into high school, you saw a lot of different groups of people. You saw people um, that were separated and identified by certain things that they did, uh, the way they acted, uh, the people that they hung out with. And in high school, for the kids in our church, we want to make sure that they were identified by understanding their identity through Christ and not by the social peers or the social um, pressures that are of this world or the social pressures of this culture really um, that are being forced upon them. And it's important for our youth to understand that, but it's also important for all of us to understand that because it doesn't just stop in high school. When we're looking at ages from growing up after, after college and when you're trying to apply for a job or when you're ba balancing work life with your home, your wife, your kids, uh, we're still all trying to figure out who we really are. And me, my first, for myself, when, we're trying to, when I'm trying to grow my career, I'm trying to understand who I am. And a lot of times we question that, right? When we're applying for jobs, you write up a great resume about yourself and you try and portray yourself a certain way that pleases to the eyes of that person that's trying to hire you. When you're trying to create your LinkedIn profile, you are creating a profile that is surrounded by how great you are and how much of an asset you would be to the eyes of the person watching your profile. And all across all social media platforms, we're kind of surrounded by that. We're surrounded by this idea that we have to please the person that's watching it and that we have to, they have to view us in a certain way. And when we were talking to our youth group, we wanted them to understand that you don't have to shift to the left and to the right. That you don't have to shift and try and change who you are to identify with a certain group. There are a lot of pressures in this world and there's a lot of pressures that we feel not just in high school but in college and in all areas of our life where it goes to marriage, when it tries to, to keep a godly marriage, when it's trying to keep a godly life, when it's trying to raise your children in the ways of God, when it's trying to balance work, school, uh, a family, church, growing and spending time with God. How do we do all of this and understand our identity? And it's tough and it's tough to manage this, but the question is how do we do that and what do we do specifically? And the, the, the biggest thing for myself is moments like this, our devotion with God. This moment right now is not just between me and you, it's between you and God. For you to understand your identity, it's for you to spend time with God. People who lose track of their identity is because they have separated their communication between God. A couple of months ago, we, we did a series at church and it was talking about hearing from God. And for you to hear from God, you need to speak to God. You need to talk to God. You need to communicate with God. And if you want to constantly have Him speak into your life, you need to start a conversation. And you need to continue that conversation. 
It doesn't just happen on one day of the week on a Sunday morning when you go to praise and worship. It happens every single day. And when you're walking out of church, you are completely bombarded with the social pressures of this culture. How do we stay on top of that but completely understanding what our identity is? And it's communicating with God. It's understanding who we are with God. And a lot of times we shift in so many different ways. We shift in understanding our identity when we're in church, when we're surrounded by people in church. And then when we go to work and when we go to school and when we go to all these different other areas, we automatically shift who our identity is. There are certain areas of our identity that should always remain the same. People should be able to tell about our character, that we love God and that we love people. And it's that simple. Do you love God and do you love people? And wherever you go, are people able to identify you? Are people able to notice that that one thing about you wherever you are? Are you able to be the hands and feet of Christ in regardless whatever situation that you may be put in? Because we need to be identified as the salt of the earth and as the light of the world. And it's not just for people in high school who are just shaping their lives right now for the future, but it's for all of us. It's a continuous process for us to understand that we need to identify ourselves through Christ. And that the practical steps for that is these moments right now of devotion, of prayer, and of reading the Word of God. I'm just going to read a verse that came to my mind this morning, when we last night when we were preparing for the youth night. It was in James 1 verse 22. Do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word, but does not do what it says, is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror, and after looking at himself, goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom, and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. I'm going to read verse 23 again. It says, Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. That's sometimes a lot like us. As Christians, we go to church and we, we all of a sudden in Sunday service remember who we are to God and remember our identity in God then. But when we walk out, we completely forget it because we forget to practice everything that we've learned. We forget to practice the devotion that we're having right now. We forget to practice the, the part where it says love God, but also love people. So that when we wake up Monday morning and we're stuck in the traffic, it all of a sudden just sets us off into a bad mood for the rest of the day. But it's important for us to practice what we learn. It's important for us to practice uh, who we are in God for us to continually remember our identity through Christ. One last verse before I take off is I'm going to read in Matthew chapter 6, verses 34. It's the message version. Give your entire attention to what God is doing right now. And don't get worked up about what may or may not happen tomorrow. God will help you deal with whatever hard things come up when the time comes. Uh, and I, I love this verse and it, it really helped me out this week. And it's really because a lot of times our identity changes because the circumstance around us is forcing us to. There's something that's coming up that's something so minor that just comes up in our life that we just feel like is a roadblock to everything around us that our identity changes. We change the decisions that we make. We, we start making decisions on impulse but not reflecting upon what God is asking us to act out. And it's important for us to understand and be faithful in knowing that God is going before us and His presence has already paved the way for each and every one of us. And not for us to get worked up on, a, on the moment, but to understand to include God in everything we do. So if there's one thing that you take away from this today, it's understanding that our identity is found through Christ. And it's important for us to practice that by practically communicating with God through prayer and reading His Word and sharing what we have learned and how God has communicated us to the people around us. I hope this word blesses you, and I hope you have a great morning. Take care.